What's the matter? Are you not happy with your piggy? You talking to me? What you saying? Are you not happy? What's the matter, baby? You wanna go outside? You wanna go play outside? What's the matter, Corbin? So I don't know what's gotten into him within the last, I don't know, hour, but um, this is a sign of separation anxiety. He is obviously anxious about something. Today he has been on me like white on rice. I mean, he has just stuck to me all day long. I, I can't go to the bathroom without him, like, wanting to sit on my feet. So if you're dealing with an animal that's like this, trust me, I understand how you feel. Um... Like I said, you can get some confidence training, agility training, things or um, things that will help them to become more confident. Uh, he is doing better being left alone. Um, I have seen an improvement in the last few weeks, so that's really encouraging. But then, you know, they have their days where they go through something or they, they're just not feeling uh, sure about something, so... <laughs> This is a, this is an example of a day when he is quite not not quite on his game. He's just really stressed out today and I don't know why. And hence he is hiding underneath my chair as I'm working. <laughs> Corbin. What's up everybody? This is Vanessa and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. You are watching all about Beachless. Now I know it's been about two years uh, since I made my last video and there are reasons for that. Um, I had a very unfortunate uh, traumatic brain injury and so now I am in a good place where I can start filming speaking without stuttering or without pause for the most part. If I do, just bear with me. Um, I wanted to talk about separation anxiety. As you guys have seen from my video clips, those are some of the moments that I've been able to capture for uh, my dog. And I will be making a several part uh, series about separation anxiety and the causes, things to be uh, concerned about, things to look out for. And um, so I really want to devote enough time uh, per video because everybody's situation is different. You know, how do we handle this? Is it the breeding? Is there a medical problem? Is it, um, is it just a, a lack of training? So on and so forth. So uh, I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Uh, if, you have not sub sub if you have not subscribed, I highly encourage you to do so. If you are interested in new content, don't forget to click the uh, notifications icon. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate the love and support. So until the next video, um, you know, I would really appreciate some comments from you guys as to what you are experiencing with your Vishlas. If you are a prospective Vishla owner and you're not sure whether or not this is the breed for you, I highly encourage you to check out my first video. I will include it in the description below. So until, uh, until next time, um, Keep loving your fur babies and have fun and leave those comments below. I really do appreciate them. I love interacting with you guys.